In five minutes or less, I'm gonna teach you all about AI. Using cake. This is Kane Explains Artificial Intelligence. The conversation around artificial intelligence might feel very new, but artificial intelligence has been around since the 1950s. That's about 70 candles on this birthday cake. Recent advancements in computers and their abilities to store more information has led to an explosion of AI products. But what exactly do we mean when we say artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, or AI, is basically training computers to learn and think like humans do. The goal is for the computer to understand and solve problems on its own, without being told what to do every time. Come to my kitchen and I'll explain. AI learns in two main ways, machine learning and deep learning. Machine learning is, as it sounds, a machine learning. The AI system learns kind of like us, but can process a lot of information way quicker than humans do. For example, we might practice to bake this cake 10 times before we feel like we've mastered every element. But for machine learning, the AI system will practice a million times in a very short period of time. That's a lot of cake. Today, we're gonna learn how to make a cake machine learning style. First, we'd show the AI system each of the ingredients one at a time. We want to teach it the difference. We tell it this is flour and this is salt. The AI system looks at features of the ingredients and tries to remember it. We would then show the system the wet ingredients like eggs and milk and it would take its best guess on what eggs are and what milk is based on its previous lesson. It might get it wrong though. It could identify the milk as flour since it's only been taught to see flour. Then a human like me would go in and correct the system, no, this isn't flour, it's milk. The system tries to get better with each guess until no mistakes are made and no human has to go in and correct them. These rules that the machine have learned is called an algorithm. Think of algorithms as an old family cake recipe. You make it a lot and you know the recipe by heart, and after making it a few million times, you might want to change it up, enhance the recipe a bit with a few different ingredients, and see how it goes. Well, algorithms, like recipes, can evolve over time. Okay, that was machine learning. The other kind is deep learning. Think of deep learning as a more complex type of machine learning. The deeper the learning, the more layers there are. The more layers, the more complicated the recipe is. Where machine learning is teaching a system how to bake a simple cake, deep learning allows the system to experiment, try new things, test out different ingredients, and learn on its own. Now, let's get out of this kitchen so I can show you some real life examples. And I'll take this piece with me. So, there are different types of AI, and they use different recipes, which we now know are called algorithms, to do different things. For example, classification algorithms are a recipe that can tell different objects from each other. So, for example, if you give an AI an image of a cake and a pie, it can tell you the difference between them. Real life example, the spam filter on your email. It can tell based off of its previous learning if an email seems real or fishy. Perceptive algorithms are recipes that can perceive and view the world around them. They can look at an item and tell what it is. A good example is how facial recognition algorithms analyze facial features and patterns to identify and verify individuals, like how some phones sort images by faces. Generative algorithms are recipes that are able to create new media and text. So the AI can look at 100 images of a cake or read 100 recipes about cakes and create a new image or recipe for a cake that doesn't even exist yet. Some examples would be ChatGPT or image generators like DALI. That was a piece of cake, right? We learned what AI was, how it learns, and what algorithms or rules it follows to make predictions. For CBC Kids News, I'm Isabel McNeil.